All right, looking at number five of the permaculture methodologies, we have what we call zone analysis. Now, zone analysis is basically looking at how you place the elements in your system in relationship to how much time it takes to tend to them. So whatever that element is, so let's say this is the chicken house here. How much time does it take to actually tend to the chicken house? So being someone who's raised chickens and um, both on a personal level and on a commercial level, one of the things that I find is that I do a minimum of three visits a day to that chicken house. First in the morning, I'll walk out, go to the chicken house, let the chickens out. So they've got <coughs> basically a protected area that I let them out so that they can forage. And I check their water, I count all of them to make sure that they all made it through the night and nothing got into the hen house. And, uh, and then off, you know, that's early in the morning. Then I go again late morning. Now the reason I do that is that in the late morning is when they actually lay their eggs. They don't lay their eggs early in the morning, they do it mid-morning. And so I'll go just before lunch and actually harvest the eggs. And then the third is going to the um, hen house to close up the chickens and make sure they all made it through their day. Again, check their water, make sure everything is uh, A-OK -okay with the flock and put them in. So three times a day, every single day, you go to the chicken house. Now, imagine if you place this chicken house 100 meters away from the house. Every day, you're gonna have to travel how far? So if you go three times there and back, you're traveling 600 meters a day every day. That's a long way to go. That's uh, over a half a kilometer a day just to check on your chickens. But imagine if you do that over a month, which is 18 kilometers in a month or 30 days. So every month you're walking 18 kilometers to tend to your chickens. So think about that energy that you have to expend to do that because you've placed it so far from your home. And I've seen this before. I've seen it even farther than 100 meters because people didn't want it near or close to their home. But what they weren't calculating was the amount of energy it takes for them to actually tend it. And that can be very costly over time. So imagine now you do that over 12 months, which is 216 kilometers a year. Imagine that now, you're traveling 216 kilometers a year, and imagine if you do this for 50 years. <laughs> you're literally traveling over 10,800 kilometers over the course of 50 years tending chickens. Now that may be kind of funny to some of you, but if you think about it, your energy is precious. And every efficiency you can design into this system is really crucial. And so this is the, the, the part of the methodology that's all around energy efficiency and being able to map out the zone. So basically around your home, we do what we call zone one. So those are all the things that you would place in your home that you visit regularly. So things that you're doing daily. So whether it might be a kitchen gardens might be in there. You might have um, kitchen gardens, herb gardens, most your infrastructure. So you might have your garage, your, you might have your composting there. You might have your... Um, your, your children's play areas there, all the things that you would do on a daily basis, and that includes chicken systems. So usually what I would do is bring the chicken system right to the edge of your zone one, where it can then work with your zone two. So let me show you what zone two, and just talk a little bit more about that, the different zones. So zone two, are things that you would have that would be 
visited not daily, but more infrequently. Um, things like here you might have your kitchen type of, of plants, but here you might have your broad, what we call broad crops. So things that you only harvest once, like corn and cabbage, those types of things might be growing a little further out because you don't need to go there every day. They're just growing and growing, unlike lettuces and tomatoes and beans where you're harvesting constantly. Um, the chicken system, I would move over. Like I said, I would bring it into the, the edge of that system. You might have your orchards over here. You have your orchards. You might have um, different things like it might be where your chicken forage areas are. You don't want necessarily your chickens coming into your kitchen gardens, but they could forage this way. So chicken forage. It might be you have ponds. You could even have ponds in here, but ponds where you're harvesting fish occasionally. Um, a lot of different things. So it it's, doesn't matter what you put in here. It's looking and saying, what are the things that I need to do most frequently? Where can I bring them in closely? And the things I do less frequently, you move out. So here on a larger property, you might have a zone three, which is a, a grazing areas. It's also... Um, you know, you might have grazing areas. You might have more um, uh, uh, tree crops that you only harvest once a year, that type of thing. Um, that's zone three. Zone four is definitely things that you only would visit like once a year. So maybe it could be a firewood lot. It could be a windbreak. That's also something you do firewood with. Could be windbreak with firewood. It could also be grazing area as well that you only go in frequently to. Um, so you start to basically zone away from the most intense zone around your home to the least intense where you spend very little time and then zone five is basically and you see it's not concentric it's always based on the landscape zone five is what we call the wild land and maybe you go there and you hunt or maybe you go there and harvest uh, wild foods but it's not somewhere that you're constantly tending you might do a little caretaking stewardship work there but it's something that you're not visiting very often zone five and that could even be right up near the house in a valley or a canyon that you can't get down into that could be the wildlife corridor that moves through your land as your zone five so this is just a way of looking at energy efficiency based on zones and and the zones are based on how much energy it takes to tend to those elements and then placing them appropriately. Legend has it, we could be legends Etched in the stone, forever on thrones Histories made in the moments Heroes collide, it's all